Venture capital loans all but evaporating in Silicon Valley after the collapse of SVB. Our Kate Rooney discusses what that means for startups with our Deirdre Bosa today in Tech Check. Hey, guys. Hey, Carl. Thanks for that. Um, it's part of this so-called VC funding winter, right? Yeah. Money is hard to come by anywhere, but the debt markets now especially, tough spots for a startup that needs to raise money and doesn't necessarily want to raise equity. Absolutely. So you've got this. You have the economic backdrop. It is really the big picture. Interest rates going up. It's just a lot more expensive to service loans. And startups are using debt instead of equity. So if you're a founder, you might not want to give away you know, 5 or 10% of your company. You might say, all right, to extend my runway, I'm just going to take out a loan. It's right. cheap. It's easy to do. You've got Silicon Valley Bank. They've got those great banking relationships. Flash, flash forward to this year. You don't have Silicon gone. Valley Bank anymore. So one, yes, you may not want to raise equity. But the yeah. other thing that we've been talking a lot about, and you see a ton here, you don't want to down round. Yes. Right? It's not good for employee morale, for management, for your existing yeah. venture capitals that have invested in that. So sometimes they're unfavorable loans. So, right? I was talking to yeah. one VC this morning who said he doesn't advise any of his portfolio companies to take on debt yes. because it can be a so-called death spiral. Yeah. If you take it with these unfavorable terms, you're going to burn through it and you can't necessarily pay it back. And the incentives are different, right? A lender wants their money back plus interest. Yes. An equity holder wants the company to grow to get higher and higher returns. Exactly. So that plays on both hands. Debt is cheaper. So those guys don't necessarily need as high of a return as some of these private equity guys who are saying, hey, I'm in it for the long term. Debt, they might say, hey, we don't need that type of return, but it's safer. You're higher on the capital stack. So you're saying if yeah. loans are just easier to get in that sense. So that's part of it. PitchBook actually had some great numbers. So we've talked about this. People have, have been really anticipating that this is going to happen. Founders, I think, have been, been knowing that they're, you know, debt's not going to be available. PitchBook has some data this week showing just overall deal volume yeah. down 68%. Uh, actually, that's deal value. And then volume's down almost 40%. So you're just seeing it fall off a cliff here. The other side of this potential silver lining, you might see startups really need to get scrappy. They've talked a lot about this, this age of efficiency, improving unit economics. They really don't have other options at this point. So you're starting to see some of the quality startups really shine here, and they'll still have access to They can raise debt, exactly. and a lot of the lenders, they want to see cash flow. Um, they want to see profitability, yep. but it's those ones in the earliest stages yes. that are suffering the most, right? So I was wondering, Kate, I was talking to a few people this morning, too, trying yeah. to figure out who had stepped in for Silicon Valley yeah. Bank, right? They were really kind of the savior for the early stage startup ecosystem, exactly. offering terms, and they would get warrants or options, right? Yeah. So it wasn't exactly this typical loan. They were right. actually getting something out of it, yeah, venture you, debt. Exactly. You get convertible. So you yeah. start as a loan, and then eventually the upside for Silicon Valley Bank was this is going to turn into a slice of the company at some point. So it was this yeah. really unique model. They had all the banking relationships. It's interesting. J.P. Morgan is actually looking like one of the banks yeah. that's going to come in. They reported earnings this morning, but they hired about a dozen bankers in the past week or so and said SVB had this monopoly. We see an opportunity here, even though it's a high-risk business, J.P. Morgan has the scale to totally. do this. But then it raises the question, how much do they really want to go into the earliest stages? Right. It may not actually make that much sense yeah. for a big bank, but back to the point where the big get bigger yes. in this environment. The banks, the tech companies, yep. the startups. M&A might be another uh, yeah. result here. Anyways, good conversation. Uh, Sarah, Carl, we're going to hand it back over to you.